Oh shit, a donation. KCR Burton with that 420. Thank you very much, sir. That's our first ocean, uh, donation of the night. Thank you very much, man. That is awesome. Keeping the string alive. Of, I think it's been like quite a few times. I had a donation every time, man. You guys are awesome. Yep. We need like a counter, you know? Uh, yeah, but all I was saying was is the reason we sell out to YouTube and Twitter is because we use Twitter as the method of contacting pro players. Uh, so when they see someone with like five followers trying to contact them for show matches, they don't even think we're legit. Like, it sounds funny, but I'm being serious. So if you guys follow us on Twitter, it really does help our e-presence or whatever like lame term you want to use. Uh, but our it is, e footprint, well, bro. Well, yeah, well, you know what I mean. Like, it sounds really <laughs> stupid when you talk about it. But sadly, as much as I hate it, that shit actually matters. Uh, so if you guys want to give us a follow there, it really does help. But, you know, whatever. We'll get to this game. Our blue Zerg player in the top part of the map. Uh, currently teamless, it is Hype. And his opponent, an OG of the Nidus and last week's winner from Clan HTX, it is Orlrock. The champ, man. You All are right. crowned the champ until you are dethroned. So this man is still the champ for a couple more hours unless he pulls it off again. And then he gets to ride it out for a week. It's kind of the running joke that everyone just spams you with the word champ. Uh, for the whole week that you reign the king of the night. It's, I don't know. <laughs> it's lame, but that's what we do, man. We're all about them lame traditions. Uh, but both players are going to take a pretty early natural, and it looks like we're off to a very standard uh, Bonnie Research Station or, uh, yeah, game. I just updated the scoreboard as well. So I, I mentioned this before. We are 1-1 in this series. This is not a fresh series. Whoever wins this moves on into semifinals. So this is a pretty big game for both of these players. Absolutely, man. Um... You make it to semifinals, you just got to make it through that, and then you get a little bit of break as we do the show match so you can gather yourself. Um, but, man, this is pretty exciting. Oral Rock making a deep run for himself, seeing if he can get back into those finals. And Hype, too. I mean, totally new to the to the Nidus, man. I'd love to see somebody brand new in the finals. Yep. NJW Boom with the follow. Thank you very much. I don't know if we called that out or not, but I appreciate it. You played some good games, man. He says, thank you. Uh, just wish I played better for the stream. I got nervous and couldn't think of what I wanted to do. Just started throwing stuff out there. Uh, that's kind of why we did this, though. Try to ease up on the nerves and let you play in a friendly setting. Just keep coming back in a couple weeks, and you'll be a tournament pro, man. These guys got like nerves of steel these guys that keep coming back it's kind of crazy um but yeah thank you and you put on some hell of a good games man i wouldn't be like too discouraged about what happened man so yeah absolutely dude i i mean like i said we love casting new people man so you guys show up we'll definitely try and cast you uh looks like the evo chamber is just about to finish up for hype so i imagine this is probably going to be uh, we've been seeing a lot of protoss do this tonight yep um or sorry a lot of zergs do this tonight against protoss you know yeah. get that plus one melee and speedlings yep uh nevo calling us out because we didn't read the message i'll come back to the message the text was so, so small print in the preview window i couldn't read it uh but we will be coming back to revisit that thank you again kcr burton for the 420 donation we definitely appreciate it again all the donation money we don't take anything out of that it just goes to a lot of content we're about to do what three three hundred dollars worth of payouts in the next uh month alone between our super clan war and our 150 dollars open tournaments so i mean thank you guys very much we appreciate all the donations and it goes straight back into providing more content to the community so i don't know we're just trying to stall a little bit because this is the longest map in the pool and nothing's happening just yet. I thought he was going to try to Razzle Dazzle maybe again because of the Overlord placement. Uh, but I think it was shut down completely with this one pylon, man. Or, or Rock Snow Pool, so... Absolutely, man. I mean, OG of the night is son. We don't run an amateur event yeah. here. <laughs> like, dude clearly is good if he was taking out other players. We got lots of awesome players here. But um, it looks like, you know, good number of gateways coming down now. Resonating Glaive is about halfway done. I wouldn't be surprised if we see a move out within the next maybe minute and a half or two minutes. Yep. Uh, and Hype's going ahead and taking his layer in the back. That's a pretty common move here. But we'll have to see what tech path he chooses to go with that. For now, it's just Roaches with plus one melee. Uh, but we'll have to see if that's how, how he chooses to go with this. Um, Lings are, or, well, Lings. Uh, Mutas are very popular on this map uh, just because of how damn long the damn thing is, dude. But I don't know if that's necessarily where he's headed just yet. So. Yeah, man. As a Terran, I don't build too many Mutas, but <laughs> I definitely get hit by Mutas a lot on this map. Uh, it makes holding down that third, or, you know, that third expansion is really safe until something flies in there, like a Doom Drop or Mutas or something like that, you know? Yep. Or, sorry, the natural, not the third. I mean, tucked back there, it's like you get yeah. it free if you can wall it off, but then all of a sudden, you know, Doom Drops start to become a thing mid game. Yep. And first blood has happened because the Overlord was killed. So, there we go. I like calling that out. But these adepts are going to come in, and they should be able to be held with a little bit of lings and roaches. Oh, shit. We're going to have a mid-map fight. Here we go. 
I don't think both player right? really knows that the move out was happening. Nope. So Aura so, Rock got vision of like two links, but I don't think he saw the whole army move across. And I, I'm going to go ahead and say he didn't because he's continuing with this aggression. Uh, so yeah. yeah. And it looks like just a couple more links are coming out from Hype. Um, he's got some that will probably be able to make his way back. But these Adepts are just going to get in here and start to do work. Links across the map more, more than likely going to shut down Aura Rock's third. And he does cancel it, so at least he's got that going for him. Um, but these Adepts now going to have to tuck in behind the mineral line to see exactly how much damage they can get. Yep, so I'd imagine he will take the shade and try to poke up in there and see how much damage he can get done. He might consider him a loss at this point. I do think they'll be able to pick off a lot of drones with five coming down so far, but they should get completely cleaned up as Hype oh, drew yeah. all of his forces, and here they come. So He's cleaned he's up 15 drones yeah, right now. Yeah, dude. I'm not trying to like understate this. This is a huge pickup. Oh, he's even going to shade into the third and get a couple more. Man. Yeah, that was a monster pickup, dude. 22 drones going down right there to what, like six adepts? I'd trade that any day, man. Absolutely, man. So there are, you know, a significant amount of units here coming out for Hype. Blings and Roaches. He is able to clean this up. Um, <clears throat> but 22 drones going yeah, down. So like that's, very nice damage there by Oral Rock. That's huge. And Hype did a fat round of drones behind it. He's only down nine workers right now, even though he just lost that amount. Uh, but I'd imagine with all this production we're seeing out of Oral, Oral Rock, the next fight should be game ending. It looks like Oral Rock is trying to just push. Oh, but as I say that, he's at least going to take his third. So I don't know anything as per usual. I thought he was just going to two base his ass and just walk, dude. I really did. <clears throat> so, yeah, look at the production, though, man. Like, Oral Rock just has so many, so many gateways and stuff. It's crazy. Yeah, and he's got uh, the high um, the high Templar building. That's what they call it. Now, the Templar Archive's <laughs> coming down now. A couple more gateways, just like you said. And he's starting into disruptive production, too. So his army is going to get really freaking scary, especially against things like Roach Hydra. Um, Lings will be okay against the disruptors, but, you know, Roaches, especially without speed, just crazy slow and really vulnerable to, uh, to disruptor shots. Absolutely. And he's trying to set up a little bit of a razzle-dazzle, too, but uh, Oral Rock has all this little Sin City right here. It's going to get scouted pretty easily. And we had another donation go off during all that, too. I reduced the volume a little bit. Yeah, thank you so, so much for whoever that was that just donated. Uh, again, we're running a bit of a delay, so we won't see that for another 90 seconds. But we will try to pay attention to that in channel and call that out when it's when appropriate. Uh, thank you so much for that. Uh, but these yep. roaches are down, and they're going to be able to pick up seven probes before these stalkers get in here. That's a huge, nice. yeah, that's a huge response to that aggression from Oral Rock, man. And he is going to be able to see the Robo Bay too, so um, I don't know. Sometimes you can tell whether or not it's researching something. Usually my kind of general rule is if it's not researching something, uh, then it more than likely is Disruptors, and if it is, then it's probably Thermal Lance for Colossi. Okay. Um, more often than not, I lose the Protoss, so I'm wrong. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah. it's just my, no, that's my good, general rule. No, that's a good way to think about things, dude. It's something I haven't even explored, so I, I just learned something. Thank you. But uh, we got Blink coming Explore. into play. Yeah, <laughs> explore. <laughs> I know, Whatever, right? you know what I mean. Another I know. another one coming in. I'd imagine he wants to finish off that pylon. It's not going to shut down any production, though. I think he'd be best served just trying to bang out this whole line of uh, probes right here. We'll see, though. Yep. Oh, shit. Orrock doesn't have anything to deal with it, either, as he's, he was about to move out on his own. I think he probably thought it, that Overlord maybe just was empty, and then so he was like, but then as soon as he started dropping units, he's like, oh god, gotta, gotta do a warp in. Uh, Carter. Carter donated $4.20, and yes. 840 on the night, guys. Thank That's you guys very much. Yeah, but 840 is no laughing matter, dude. We only pay out 10 to the winner, so between the two of you guys, you pretty much just covered the payout. Or, or at least one of the payouts. We pay show match as well. So thank you very much, man. 840 is no laughing matter. That's just pretty much going to the winner of the tournament tonight. Thank you guys so much for that, uh, Carter and Mr. KCR Burton. Uh, but back to the game. He's trying to poke in here and see what damage he can find. But oroch has got a sizable army, dude. And with those yeah. disruptors, I don't know how much damage you're going to find here. Uh, for pipe, that is. I fucking love it. The Ororok's army is just massive. Yeah. It has the potential to do so much damage. Protosses in the chat are probably so fucking proud right now. Like, <laughs> yeah. like it, I mean, it's just a bulky army with an insane amount of DPS it can put out. Hype is really going to need to kind of uh, have a great engagement here with a surround or something to make this happen, but it's looking yeah. pretty grim for him. And the, dude th the one thing I do like from Hype, though, is that he loaded up that Overlord again and is back there poking in again with a couple links. So he's like, yeah, it's only a couple links and it'll only find a few probes worth, but that's huge in the face of aggression. And he was probably trying to get Ororok to withdraw, but there's no way that's going to happen. So. Yeah, this Ororok is scary is definitely not Oral. all in, but Ororok knows the size of his army, the yeah. damage potential of his army. Hype just really trying to buy his time now. 
Yep, absolutely. Might be going for a counterattack, actually. Oh no. Oh no. A, a little bit of hesitation there. He it looked like he wanted. To, oh, good uh, force field from Warrock there, preventing the reinforcements. And yeah, you're right, man. Hype is gonna choose through it. He's just gonna go with the counterattack behind this. But uh, Warrock has the ability there. to recall. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about this. Yeah, I was gonna say, sorry, just interesting play there. Something that, I mean, I don't play Protoss, and I actually haven't seen Protoss do in the Nidus. But he had a, oh Jesus, real quick guys, sorry. More important, there is a massive Ling uh, run by that got into the main. The recall is great, but this is an insane amount of Lings and may just be what he needs. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, the army will, I think Oral Rock did kind of mess up by recalling to the wrong base. Yeah. Um, but, you know, the damage is done, and honestly, I think this third might go down. Yeah, that would be a huge pickup for him, considering he just lost two bases. Hype, that is. Uh, but yeah, nah, yeah. Aurorok should be able to push this back. I highly doubt this third will go down. So that was very well played for Aurorok. Granted, he did lose 23 probes, so, like, Hype did a lot of aggression, but Hype lost two bases behind that and a lot of economy. It's, oh, um, oh shit, Aurorok lost a lot, though. I just took a look at worker count. Yeah, 34 yeah. to 11, man. But yeah. he does still have a sizable army. Uh, I mean, it kind of comes down to what I said before. If I had to push across the map and all in with any race, it would definitely be Protoss, and it would definitely be with Disruptors. I mean, yeah. like... Seriously, I just love the relentless drops, man. Hype has been just pouring in links uh, on this third back here the whole game, and I love it. Because it, even though it hasn't done an insane amount of damage, it's always made Ororok react to it, and he's, yep. he's managing to pull apart the macro a little bit, I think, for that. I feel like uh, Hype is going to be like your Sophia, but like, yeah. You know, <laughs> I just yes. really like Sophia's Terran play. It's really creative, I think, dude. Um, but yeah, I'm sure you're loving this like Razzle Dazzle Ling fight. And it looks like some Ling's actually going to... Oh, dude, that was that, really yeah. nice micro by Ororok there to Good blink up. up into his uh, Warp Prism. I mean, it is only four stalkers, but still, you want to say what you can. Yeah, absolutely, especially when you got another huge move out coming across that. Should be potential. No, I, I don't think it'll be game ending because of the amount of links, man. You can underestimate all these links, especially with plus one, man. Plus one's okay. pretty nice, so. If he doesn't, he needs to get up on that army and not take disruptive shots. Yeah. They were, so he actually, he, so backing up is definitely a good idea too, but I was going to say, if his lings are just standing there, that's probably one of the only instances in which they can take massive disruptor shots. By the way, some mutas out now as well. This is a crazy ass game, man. I'm glad that this was the one game we decided to pick up in between series, right? Like this is, this is pretty crazy. Oh, and another good uh, recall. So he just keeps poking in here, getting a couple bases and recalling. He left a couple of troops behind. <laughs> Poor bastards, but... They'll get cleaned know, up pretty right? good, but picking up that base was pretty good for Mororok, and oh man, he's starting to look bad in worker count though, dude. I, dude, I love this Muta response too, because it's like, dude, the only, by the way, a base that drop does actually kill that base uh, at Ororok's natural, so he does lose that. But this Muta response is freaking majestic, dude, because mm. there's not much that can shoot up right now. I mean, the Archons uh, and Ororok is bringing in a couple Stalkers, but for, you know, those Disruptors and shit, dude, look at this, the Adepts. Not able to do anything to the mutas. Yeah, and he's even going to be able to take out this pylon and shut down a little bit of production there. Not that it was really being used anyway, but Ororok is kind of stuck in a rock and hard place now, and he doesn't. You can tell, like he he's kind of unsure of whether or not he should attack or try to defend this. And you're right, that muta switch was amazing because there's nothing to deal with it right now. Would you say he is stuck between an oral rock and a hard place? Hey, I knew hey. we were going to turn you okay, into a punny one, guy. I say I hate puns, but the only one who ever makes puns on the night <laughs> is just me. And I got to stop because I hate myself. No, dude. you like, love it, dude. You, you love it. <laughs> secretly a pun master. Uh, David1995, thank you very much for the follow. I didn't know how to read that middle part, so I just left it out. I hope you don't hate me for that. Uh, but I do appreciate the follow, good sir. Oral oh, rock, though, kind of. Yeah. Take it away. Fucking cancels. No, I was going to say, dude, cancel. I don't know if you saw the disruptor shot there, but cancel the lurkers that were coming in, dude. Amazing. Oh, and I think, nah. honestly, this is going to be just enough to win the game. Holy shit, man. Well yeah. played by Oral This Rock. was a crazy ass game, and I'm glad we got to see it, dude. We knew it was going to be crazy because it's the defending champion. But, man, I put in a hell of a game, too. And these mutas still don't have an answer. I don't think he can clean this up from Oral Rock, though. We're off to a straight yeah. base race, man. There are lings flooding out, but unfortunately, they're going to get caught up. And this is, I mean, every unit counts so much right now. Yeah. Uh, I have doing the best he can to bring lings across the map. Bring in a couple drones, too. So he's, he is looking for that base. Room. I don't know what to watch. There's so much shit going on right now. I guess we'll just stick with Ororok, as I think he has the ability uh, to recall, at least. But Hype is doing a lot of work behind this on the other side of the map. Yeah, I think we've said it right. The recall is really going to be a huge factor here when Ororok feels like he's done enough damage. He will recall. By the way, there is a Dark Shrine down, so that could be a game changer too. Yeah. Uh, Hype doesn't have enough money to bring in an Overseer. Oh man, Ororok's not even going to recall, dude. He doesn't care. He's like, have my base, dude. Have the Dark Shrine. 
I really don't Anis. care. I'm just gonna base race for that. This is I honestly think that's a pretty bad idea because there's that extractor that just got built across the map. So. Oh, oh there's the recall. Okay, cool. This is okay. exactly what he wants to do. He wants to make sure that he did lose some stuff, but he did maximum damage. Comes across the map, should clean up the army. Still, here, though, there's nothing to deal with these mutas. Two stalkers. I don't know. Oh, okay, and the Archon, yeah, but. Mm, I don't know, dude. This is like a, just a ridiculous game. Who yep, takes it right. from here? Like, there's no economy for Ororok at all. Yeah, you're absolutely right. He doesn't have a base or anything like that. Zerg, you know, only has an extractor, but does have some drones. So the the um, advantage does go there, even if it's just a small amount of eco uh, hype can mine. And I got to say, man, these mutas never have to take a straight up engagement. Yeah. Um, so, uh, hype can slow mine and get his muta number up yeah. and just continue to fly around and eventually poke down these buildings. Yeah, I think hype's got it, man. I want to say that so too. he's got it from here. Um, so too. 15 drones versus zero. I mean, that. That, that's all, all tells the story right there. So you could tell Ororok 2 is just hesitating. He's not really, he doesn't know what to do because what do you do at this point, man? Like, it, yep. there's no economy to start anything. Can't even and see this out. is, yeah, where the mutas really start to, because like, you just never really have to take, I mean, you may not do as much damage as you want, but there really is nothing that Ororok can do. I mean, he's going to be forced to chase you around. Um, he is going to hallucinate a Phoenix and get a scout off. Yeah. Um, and he does kind of have a warp prism, which won't be able to warp in any units, but will be able to help him, you know, do pickups and, and try and take good trades. Yep. And Ororok has a warp prism loaded up with a couple adepts. I guess he's going to fly around and see what damage he can find. He's leaving his AA behind, just trying to protect the, the remaining bases. I do like that decision. Uh, but the thing is, I don't think Ororok knows what we know in that uh, there's still an economy rolling on the other side of the map. Yep. And rolling pretty good. I mean, 15 drones is, is a decent economy at this point when you have zero on the other side of the map. So. Yep. And he's got a good number of mutas now, too. For a while, there was like four mutas, you know? And it's like, okay, he can do some damage, but you're going to be wailing. You're never really going to kill anything, you know? The yeah. muta number is now starting to grow where he can start to maybe one-shot things. Um, if he's not careful, he's, he might lose that work. Okay, there we go. Yeah, dude, I think it was too late of a recall for Mororok. I'm not trying to be critical of the champion of the Nidus, but there was just nothing to recall back to, pretty much. And uh, now Hype is just going to slowly start pulling away with his old 15 drones. Dude, his hopes and dreams on the line here. Yeah, man. seriously. He's got to claim his title, the belt. Slipping away. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Some WWE shit, dude. Seriously. Oh, man. my God. He's coming in with a chair. Uh, yeah, but these mutas are starting to grow into a pretty ridiculous number. I don't think there's enough to straight up engage this, but... Oh, yeah, now that there's two more, that's all you needed, those two. He's good to go. I know, no. right? <laughs> but he, he should be able to poke in here and just bang this out. I think he's just being hesitant uh, because he's not quite sure what Ororok has to deal with. Oh, Ororok uh, picking uh, up all his AA now, though. I think, yeah, this is a smart move, man. You just, I mean, there's no reason to overcommit here. Um, oh, the warp prism? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Ororok's not going to let that happen. This is a chance. And right honest, there. if he split a little bit of, if he split his meters there, I think he could just knock that Archon right out. But still, the ability to have that warp prism and be doing pickups and drops uh, could be, you know, I, I really like this out of hype. This is a mark of a good player, in my opinion. Just being really patient. There's no reason to throw this game, you know? Yeah, for sure. So. I gotta add it to Ororok and just sticking it in there. I mean, I think he's out of this game, but, you know, at least he, he's trying still. So you can't fault the man for trying. No, you can't. That's fucking spirit. <laughs> and we like that here at the yes. Nidus, man. Um, but yeah, as you said, I mean, nothing's really looking in his favor here. He like he does have an Archon. Yeah. Um, he does have Pylon Overcharge, too. That's no joke, man. Yeah, um, he does have the mothership for us, so that's nice. Oh, oh he set it off. Yeah, he kind of wastes the overcharge there for a second, but I think there's enough energy to call down the other one too, so he's just trying to protect his bases. Uh, but the thing he does have going for him is that Ororok loaded up this drop, and it is across the map. So he's going to poke into this base, which is pretty much uncontested until these mutas pop. He should be able to get some pretty good pickups, and at least find out that the opponent is mining. Um, I love this. This is like special tech and shit. Like, <laughs> that warp prism had to fly. I mean... It was pretty much like a Hail Mary. Like, Ororok was like, okay, there's a shitload of mutas out on the map, and if this, I fly this into him, I could just lose instantly, you know? Yeah. But the Warp Prism does like, kind of sneakily get across the map, um, and he's able to pick up these probes, and every pro or every drone counts, man. Yep. Uh, David, 90, 1995, saying, yo, I want to play next tournament. As long as you're plat or diamond, then we can make that happen. Um, the way it's going to work is as soon as tomorrow happens i guess i was gonna say the tournament's over but it never happens instantly but long story short uh if you look underneath our profile on twitch there's a sign up button uh tomorrow at some point i will swap out the link oh he's gonna be able to pick it up that was the gamble that he risks having that warp prism out there and he knew that and that's pretty much game as if it wasn't already uh but yeah so the sign up button tomorrow will be swapped out 
and the new sign up button will be replaced all you got to do is click on that and all of our entry rules and all that stuff will be right there uh so we'd like to see you man absolutely man we love new players and like i said we definitely try and cast new players every opportunity we get uh you know we obviously like to yeah. to cast people that are, are frequenting the nidus regularly um but new players are are kind of a priority if we can get them so. yeah absolutely if you're a first-time player in the nidus you have a pretty high chance of your games being casted because uh, we like to thank people who participate in our stuff it's really that simple um you know you got to look out for people in this community i say it all the time but it's 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 a crazy community man we need to look out for each other but we're just kind of stalling right now as this game finishes up there's so many mutas i mean it is all she wrote for aura rock you're not supposed to call a player out as a caster but there's nothing to answer these yeah, mutas the muta flack now yeah. has gotten too damn big dude yeah dude that shit's like blacking out the sun a straight plague uh and not having that war prison definitely hurts as well i mean look at this with the the regeneration of Mutus, too. I mean, they're just everything is leaning in hype's favor. Um, Ororok sticking in there, and definitely, like you said, not fault again. This isn't BM or anything like that. Ororok just wants to, you know, his tournament life is on the line, man. He wants to make sure that he doesn't quit, uh, you know, pulling Idra. Yeah, exactly. Like, there was hallucination, bro. You didn't need to quit. Oh, but he is caught off guard right here, so now the straight base race is on. I really feel like that that's how hype wants to win, man. He wants to yeah. just kill it and avoid the conflict, but I, I don't blame him, dude. Like we said, Whoever wins this game moves on to finals, so we know what's happening on both sides of the field, and I guess Hype's got to know too at this point, but maybe he thinks there might be a hidden base? Nah. I mean, he has to know what's up, dude. He could just come in here and finish it. Yep. Yep. Just being patient. Shutting down the gateway. He's going to go ahead and get to work on those. Or rock realizing, shit, I'm not going to be able to defend this. <laughs> yeah. This is like the classic Muta like thing when you're just like, oh, the Muta ball's too big. My only option here is to move out. Like, yeah. <laughs> I do it even in ZBZ, like, oh, might as well stick with roaches and flood the other map. But yeah, with that, Aura Rock will tap out as these mutas rain down hell. As soon as this finishes up, we are out of here, guys. And I will move on to semifinals. What a hell of a game, though, dude. Until that little stalemate at the end, I mean, it was a very crazy game. Absolutely, so. man. That was pretty nuts.